At Noble, every single wheel we ship is fully custom and hand-built to each individual rider's needs. With that in mind, we place a ton of value on building with the best components in the world, and spoke nipples are no exception. The characteristics that we look for in a nipple are durability, corrosion resistance, maximum thread engagement, strong nipple heads, an effective interface with the rim, a locking mechanism to secure thread position, and spoke twist or wind-up reduction. We exclusively use the PM Double Square Polyac Secure Lock Nipples in the shop because we feel they offer the best performance possible in each of these categories. These nipples are unique in that they have quite a bit more thread engagement than a traditional flathead nipple. Their polyac shape makes for a better connection between the nipple and the rim, which allows spokes to move and line up more easily. They also feature a unique coating that reduces spoke twisting or wind up during the building process. While different materials might vary in strength and corrosion resistance, Supreme nipples are renowned for their class leading longevity. So you can rest assured your wheels are gonna be built up with great nipples no matter what, but now you're left with a decision between two different material types brass and alloy. So what's the difference and which one's better? Alloy nipples are lighter and I want to save weight, so they must be the best, right? But wait, maybe that means that brass are more durable because they're heavier. This is by far one of the most common questions we feel from our customers, and I'm happy to confirm that the best choice for the vast majority of riders is an alloy nipple, provided that it's made by Sapin. Their heat-treated 7075T6 alloy nipples are far superior to the older options, and their strength and durability have even surpassed that of traditional brass ones. They feature an anti-corrosive treatment and won't become brittle over time like the old ones did. Alloy nipples are also far lighter than the brass counterparts. In fact, a full wheel set's worth of brass nipples comes in at 77 grams versus only 24 grams for an alloy set. Keep in mind, this is rotational weight, which means you're going to feel the difference a lot more than you would if you were adding 53 grams to your hub or something at the center of your wheel. Depending on your riding objectives, 53 grams may or may not be a huge deal, but it's definitely worth mentioning. Also worth mentioning is that these alloy nipples don't round off the head as easily as the brass ones do when you're adjusting spoke tension. Definitely something to keep in mind if you're as ham-fisted as I am and you're thinking about wheel maintenance down the road. And then there's the colors. The Supreme alloy nipples are available in eight different color options while the brass are only available in black and metallic. So if alloy is a better option for most riders, when should you use brass? While on balance, both materials are extremely durable and corrosion resistant, the brass still holds slight edge. If you're building up a bike that's gonna see a lot of exposure to road salt or be ridden directly on the beach, we'd still build with brass. So there it is, an age old debate has finally been settled. If you disagree, let us know down in the comments. If you have any further questions about the nipples we use or any other wheel building concerns, please reach out below or through rideatnovawheels.com and we'll be in touch. Happy riding.